Hey everyone, as you can see, I'm actually at my house right now. It's 5 a.m. in the morning, so I'm a bit sleepy. Um, today, I thought I'd take you along on a typical day in my life. So I have some barn chores to do before I go to my flat lesson at 10 this morning at the Golden Leaf Stables. So I need to get my riding outfit on, stop at the cafe for some breakfast, and then head out to the barn to feed the horses. So let's get a move on. Alrighty, so today I'm wearing my green stable jacket with my beige riding pants, my everyday paddock slash riding boots, and I also have my black pro gloves. And of course, no morning would be complete without my favorite black beanie. For breakfast, I went to the Silver Fork Cafe and got my usual cup of tea. I usually don't eat a lot for breakfast. I'm a very light eater. And then I hopped in my van and headed to the barn. Okay, so I just arrived at the barn. Nobody's here, so it's pretty quiet except the horses winning for their breakfast, if you can hear that in the background. Um, so I better hurry up and give them their hay before they get too impatient with me. There currently aren't any horses in the field right now, so that makes my life a little bit easier. Anyways, I have some extra time on my hands, so I'm gonna grab Autumn and get her all groomed and nice and clean for our lesson today. Usually Autumn comes in from the fields and her legs are covered in filth and she has a bunch of mud stains all over her, but this morning was so much easier to groom her because she only had a bit of dust from rolling around in her shavings in the stall, so that made my life a lot easier. Anyways, I'm going to go get her in the trailer at the moment and we're going to head on over to Golden Leaf. who had a lesson just before me film some of my writing so i'll just do a bit of a voiceover for you guys oh whenever autumn goes to a new place she perks up as you can see here her ears were very upright and she was a bit spooky to some objects there was a pile of poles just outside the arena and she acted like she had never seen those things in her life uh once we warmed up she definitely chilled out a little bit and we immediately got into some exercises we started on cantering in a circle to really work on her balance next we worked on lead changes here we did a lead change across the diagonal from right to left and from here, I just try to maintain a nice controlled canter with shorter strides, which is really important for us because Autumn is a horse that tends to rush jumps when we're on a course, so slowing down is really essential to her training. I have a habit of sitting too forward, which doesn't really help with this issue at all, but she was going really smoothly here and I felt like it was a really nice ride. Here we're working on our transitions, specifically our trot to canter transitions because that's the one we have the hardest time on. A lot of the times she'll speed up and race into the canter, so as you guys can see after multiple attempts at a smooth controlled trot to canter transition, she absolutely nailed it. We ended the lesson right there because I wanted to end on a good note. Well, Autumn worked really hard in that lesson. Anyways, we're back at the barn and I'm here with Autumn who is a bit of a sweaty mess right now. So we're going to give her a nice bath to cool her off and get her all nice and clean. <laughs> Before I turn her out in the pasture, she does need to dry off a little bit. So while she dries, I'm going to muck out some stalls. Thank you. 
I went to go home to chill out for a while and get some lunch, but I'm back at the barn now and I wanted to take Flamey out on a little trail ride. So even though Flamey is navicular, I think it is important to take her out and stretch her legs. I'm probably just gonna put a bareback pad on her and ride down to the village because I have some errands I need to run there. So I'm going to get Flamey who is still in her stall and get her all ready and I can use some GoPro footage for our ride. I usually get a bit sidetracked whenever I go to the village and I always get caught up in talking to people there. Silverglade Village is just such a refreshing place to be. The community is just so generous and I absolutely love it there. Flamey is also such a good girl whenever we go to the village. She gets all the love from the people there and they absolutely adore her. So after running some errands and getting caught up with some of the people in the village, I turned Flamey out with Autumn in the pasture so she could relax and hang out with the other horses. Now it's time for some good old office work. Basically here I was just checking some applications for people who want to board at our barn and I was also checking our email. Um, one of my friends is actually out of town this week. She is studying in Jarlaheim, so I've been exercising her lovely horse Lucky for her so he stays in shape while she's gone. I'm going to be riding with some of my good friends in the outdoor arena, so let's get going. We didn't really work on anything in particular tonight, I just wanted him to get a good workout in before it got too dark. I think he was feeling a little bit lazy because it took a lot of energy to keep him moving, but other than that, he was really great. He was super smooth. It literally feels like you're riding a rocking horse, and it was a very relaxing and chill way to end the night. We've just finished riding and I brought Lucky in. He's all groomed down and oh my goodness, my helmet hair is terrible. This is why I always have to wear my beanie after I ride. Anyways, he's a very smooth horse so it's really fun to ride him. He was feeling a bit slow today so I had to use a lot of energy but other than that, he was really super good. And um, all the horses have been brought in for dinner and I have Bella who is a co-owner at the barn to help me feed tonight. So let's get feeding the horses once again. Flamey has very graciously stopped eating from her hay net to film this outro with me. Okay guys, today was honestly fairly relaxed. Nothing went wrong. I got to ride both my horses and it was pretty fun. I hope you all enjoyed coming along with me for the day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what videos you would like to see in the future. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next week.